Today I'm sharing a huge Zara versus Mango fall fashion haul, which are two of my favorite stores for colder weather items that I think are super comfortable and chic and just so easy to reach for when you don't know what to wear. Be sure to stick to the end of the video where I'm sharing a few bonus items you don't want to miss. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ziva Lennox, and if you're new, a very warm welcome. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. All right, let's get right to it. So we're gonna just start with Zara Outerwear. I got three different pieces that are just great layers for that kind of early fall where you're just kind of wanting to either use it to the office or just for a coffee run. Just makes you look and feel so put together and kind of completes like just a very basic outfit. The first one is the one that I'm wearing and I'm wearing it closed kind of like a top. First notice this one because I have seen a few people kind of make a similar kind of Jackie O type of jacket where it's tweed and it's just very ladylike. Love Shack Fancy has one for like a bajillion dollars. This one is $69 and for reference, this is an extra small. So you can see it is made to be a little bit shifty. Herringbone is one of those prints that's really easy and fun to mix with other patterns and just kind of create different outfits. Make sure to check out my how to mix prints video that I did a few months ago that just kind of shows you how to treat the different buckets of patterns and prints to mix and match for really eclectic fun outfits. I couldn't resist myself. I love Zara blazers. I think Zara blazers are so classy, classic. They last forever. I have some Zara blazers still to this day that are really old and timeless. And I've had for years, nothing happens to them and they always kind of are relevant no matter what the trend or year is. And of course now, another big trend that we saw was that vegan leather trend, having it be like leather pants, leather top. It's a leather on leather look. So when I saw that they had this vegan leather jacket, I didn't think twice about it. The only problem is that it came in and it was folded in a way that was disappointing. And this is not like it's not like i can steam this i can't if you guys have any tips on like how to take this out let me know because it hurts because like i want this so badly i think this this is going to be one of those closet staples for me because i love blazers but uh for 119 it's an extra small by the way for reference 19 i really wish that i would have gotten it wrinkle free and it was just put in the box so haphazardly it was a little disappointing so maybe i can get this out I love the gold button. I love everything about it. So hopefully I can make it work. A couple of weeks ago, I did a fall fashion trends for 2021. And one of the things that I came across when I was doing my research for the video is that quilted jackets are really in style right now. They are just all over street style and runways and that kind of thing. And so when I was kind of looking for pieces to offer you, I found this one and I got it because I just thought it was perfect and it wasn't too like flowery, uh, pattern quilty. Like sometimes it just seemed to be a little bit too over the top for me, like something that I wouldn't want to wear every day or that I would feel a little bit out of place in. So this I thought was a really good balance. And I gotta say the material is really beautiful. It feels very, very fine and expensive. I don't think it's like super warm, just kind of feeling it out. So I think it's better for like a, like an indoor outfit or to complete your outfit, which is not a bad thing. I think that you can um, style it and have it be like an indoor layer, but you definitely wouldn't depend on this one for like outer, true outerwear. Another item that I got, and this is an actual small for reference, it's $69. It's just this easy printed dress that's belted. And this feels like a little bit as an extension of summer, definitely not super ballsy, but the long sleeves and the length made me feel like I should probably grab it. I really love the blue and white combination always. It's a combination that I always gravitate towards. I don't know, I thought it was kind of classic and it would be okay, like maybe to wear with like long boots for the beginning of fall. I definitely wouldn't wear it into the winter, but I think it's really pretty and I, it's easy and it's flattering. I cannot get enough of these trouser pants. I have a set for Mango that I have worn so much. I feel like I started to look like a picture because I'm always wearing it. So I thought I could kind of vary it up a little bit and find another pair of lounge pants that you can kind of wear outside. However, it looks like the material is a little bit see-through. It's got some pockets in the back. I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about these. I love the print. I think they're very Gucci-esque, but I'll have to see how they fit. I'll show you here on the side how I'm styling it. Maybe make a decision then. This beautiful green top, just really easy to wear. It's very soft. I think it's a great work top. It's $29 and it's a small. 
and I just thought that I would grab it. I thought it would be a great piece to wear with gold jewelry, denim, black pants, um, even like a black cardigan or a blazer. I just thought it would be very flexible. I love this kind of material. It's like, kind of like jersey material. And this is just such a beautiful, rich color of green that we saw be another huge fall fashion trend was that deep saturated color. So I didn't really think twice. It was such a good deal too. Really, the jeans that I'm wearing are boot cut and they are so comfortable. They are a size zero and they're true to size. I'm 5'5", five five, so I will definitely have to wear booty, like higher heeled booties with these. But when I put them on, they felt very buttery. I slid them on, they felt like page or mother or denim that are very, very comfortable and expensive. They felt just like it. So I was like, you know what? I can deal with a little bit of a length problem because they feel so good. Moving on to Mango, they have this whole theme about checkers and checkers are another big trend. And I got a couple of checkered shirts. One of them is this huge cozy knit sweater. This isn't extra small, so this is oversized. And it's a little bit too warm for this one now. It's still kind of like not trying to get too cold up here in upstate New York. It's gonna be one of those sweaters that I reach to come November, December. And black and white is just so classic and easy to style. Like you don't have to think too hard about what bottom to wear with because it goes with white, black, denim, khaki, just about anything. Another fall fashion for 2021 trend that I really wanted to try was the matching sweater set with a skirt in the top. And I love that this top, the sleeves are not too long yet, so you can easily layer them. I have put this top on and it is so cozy and warm. I don't know if you have any sweaters from Mango, but they don't fool around with the material. Like it's always really warm. The skirt is just really cute. I'm probably gonna style it with a belt and with booties just to have it look a little bit more polished. And what I love about a good set is you can always wear it as a separate and have a completely different look. You can wear the sweater with just about any bottom. And in the skirt, you can wear a black turtleneck or you can wear a different colored shirt and have a completely different look and still have a great piece for fall. In my search for the printed loungy trouser pant, I found these and I believe these are on sale. This is, I think, a small. I have learned with Mango that they run really small. So I usually try to size up in pants because I have not found that, like, even though I might be an extra small or a zero in pants and other brands, in Mango, I'm just not. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just a little bit of a bigger size. So I got a small and they fit really well. And they're just a little bit retro. They've got pockets. They're just kind of a fun trouser that have a beautiful rust and amber black color. It's very relevant for fall. Easy to style staple, either with a black top or a black turtleneck and be as easily worn on the weekend and to work. But I wanted to show you this dress because it has made me really happy. Like if you could see the fabric, it's got some like metallic, beautiful blue metallic kind of running through it. And it just looks very fun and luxurious. And it's just a little bit sexy. I definitely recommend wearing some tight fitting tights underneath or some spanks or something just to kind of help hold you together or just have a little bit more support because sweater dresses tend to be very clingy. So it's got like a little slit on the side that makes a total statement. We did dinner last night and I feel like I just felt really good in it. So I thought I would share with you because it's a great find, it's only $66. The final thing I wanted to show you that's really fun for fall because it's hoodie weather these beautiful floral hoodies from Love Shack Fancy. I got my husband the blue and white. They made it, it's a unisex hoodie that comes in extra large. And I got myself a small, I think it was fine. I thought they were so cute. You can see how it looked here. Um, and you know, it was just kind of fun to dress them up in floral because I feel like I'm a mom with boys and I'm always having to play rough and play sports and do the boy mom things. So it was nice to kind of dress up in florals. <laughs> groundbreaking florals for fall. Make sure to check out my fall trends video. I cover a lot of these trends there and how to wear them. Also make sure to check out my Western trend video where I talk a lot about how to wear cowboy boots, how to add Western elements without too much fuss to your outfit if you're not ready to be a full blown cowgirl. And finally, check out my very comprehensive guide on how to wear different styles of jeans. It's a great kind of styling basics video that if you sometimes look at different styles of jeans, you're like, I wanna try that, but you stick to your old style just because you don't know how to style it. This video is definitely for you, just so you can take a risk on maybe a style that you normally wouldn't. 
and I would love to hear from you. If you have fun with me today, please give me a two thumbs up or just one, sorry, give me a one thumbs up and I hope to see you really soon.